The velocity of a projectile at its greatest height is root of 2 by 5 times its velocity. At the half of its greatest height, find the angle of projection. Condition in the given question. Velocity of a projectile at greatest height is root of 2 by 5 times its velocity at half of its greatest height. We have to find out the angle of projection. So to solve this question, first draw the diagram. Initially a body is projected with initial velocity u. Here initial velocity of the projectile u. Angle with the horizontal theta. Horizontal component of velocity ux is equal to u cos theta. And vertical component of velocity ui is equal to u sin theta. Along horizontal direction, acceleration is equal to 0. But along vertical direction, acceleration is equal to g. At maximum height, horizontal component of velocity u cos theta. There is no change in velocity along horizontal direction. But the vertical component of the velocity at this point is equal to 0. So, at maximum height, only velocity is equal to horizontal component. Let V1 is the velocity at maximum height. So, V1 is equal to u cos theta. Next, we want velocity at half of the maximum height. Let us take a point. At this point, vertical height is half of the maximum height. At this point also horizontal component remains the same but vertical component changes. We don't know the vertical component. Let us find out by using equation of motion. V square minus U square is equals to 2AS. We want vertical component VY, UY and here AY. VY square is equals to Initial vertical component u sin theta. So u square sin square theta minus in place of acceleration minus g. So that's why it becomes minus. And the height is half of the maximum height h by 2. v y square is equals to u square sin square theta minus 2g into maximum height u square sin square theta by 2g. Already 2 here. 2 into 2g. Here 2g, 2g get cancelled from this. 2 u square sin square theta minus u square sin square theta. It becomes u square sin square theta by 2. And horizontal component remains same only v x is equals to u cos theta. So at uh, half of the maximum height Velocity V is equals to, take this one, V2. At half of the maximum height, velocity V2 is equals to square root of Vx square plus Vy square. In place of Vx, U cos theta, U square cos square theta plus Vy square, U square sin square theta by 2. Now given condition, Velocity at maximum height is equals to square root of 2 by times the velocity at half of the maximum height. In place of V1, u cos theta square root of 2 by 5 and in place of V2 square root of u square cos square theta plus u square sin square theta by 2. Squaring on both sides u square cos square theta is equals to 2 by 5 into u square cos square theta plus u square sin square theta by 2. And 5 goes to LHS sign. 5 u square cos square theta is equals to multiply with 2. 2 u square cos square theta plus u square sin square theta. Here 2 to get cancelled. 5 u square cos square theta minus 2 u square cos square theta becomes to 3 u square cos square theta is equals to u square sin square theta. On both sides u square get cancelled. Sin square theta by cos square theta is equals to tan square theta is equals to 3. 
then tan theta is equals to root 3 and from this theta is equals to 60 degrees. So, angle of projection is equals to 60 degrees.